Now we're going to go to number two and number one. We're going to lump them together and go back to back. Of course, if you're a regular listener of the Super Podcast, you know that a feud has been simmering. Quite frankly, don't know what's caused this feud or why it's happening or where it's going, but a Loser Leaves Town match is coming up. The listeners will be voting at Facebook.com slash Super Podcast for the match between the Impressionist Jim Ross and Stuttering Tommy Rich. For the last several weeks, these guys have gone back and forth calling each other every single name. Well, now, let's hear what they have to say one final time. Voting is in progress right now, as I speak. But let's hear one final time before we get the results from Impressionist Jim Ross and Stuttering Tommy Rich. Back on the show one last time before this battle of epic proportions that's about to take place between him and Stuttering Tommy Rich, as voted on by you, the 605ers, at Facebook.com slash superpodcast is the Impressionist Jim Ross. This is his final opportunity to speak to the listeners of the Super Podcast before the voting is underway. Impressionist Jim Ross, how are you today? I'm all right, but Brian, I must admit I'm very concerned. My final opportunity to speak, I I absolutely want to make the most of this. I just want to say that I didn't ask for this confrontation, but as my daddy used to say, that uh, there's a time when a man's just got to stand up and... uh, do what's right. So I've uh, I've got some things prepared. Uh, I think that uh, what was on the table was a rap battle. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'd say that was on the table. Stuttering Tommy Rich threw down the gauntlet, and then you said that you wanted to have a rap battle. I forget exactly what happened. But now, I suggested a debate or a rap battle or, uh, or, 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 or some sort of thing, a press conference. I don't think a press conference would solve anything, but that's the, the path you've chosen to take, a rap battle? I think that the 605ers favored a rap battle, and uh, I'm more than willing, but I need some help. Brian, give me a beat. <laughs> How do you want me to do that? How am I supposed to give you a beat? Not necessary, my friend. I can freestyle this. <laughs> okay, okay. And it goes a little something like this. It's me, JR, the superstar, and I wear a big black hat. You've got to learn to slow down, son, and I'll show you where it's at. I'm JR from Oklahoma. I've got more rhymes than Sonny's got somas. Now, I was challenged on these airwaves by stuttering wildfire. Just when he's getting fired up, I'll be making him retire. But I'm not just here to rank on you, to dance or sing a song. Impressions are my stock in trade, and I've brought some friends along. (laughs) It is I, the genius on the mic, full of glory and renown. Now listen very carefully at what's about to go down. I'm the star of the show, the baby Poffo, so stand back, world, because I'm about to blow. Telling truth about that toothless goof with a speech impediment. I'm shooting here, so let these truths become self-evident. The story's been told how you won the gold from handsome Harley Race when a gentleman promoter had a dream date with your face. Jesus! Your biggest boner wildfire was messing with Jim Ross. You can have it your way at Burger King, sampling Barnett's secret sauce. Oh, my God. (laughs) The loyal 605ers are going to send you on your way. We're going to hit you where it hurts, so stock up on Ben Gay. Wow. The the genius Lanny Poffo entering this rap battle for reasons I still haven't figured out. But uh... Did you ever go over a friend's house to eat and the food just ain't no good? Well, I can feed myself in any locker room as long as I can get wood. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I was expecting you to go there and you didn't, and I thought we lucked out, and then you went right there, right? <laughs> wow. Uh, impressionist Jim Ross, once again, your genius Lanny Poffo impression is spectacular. Well, thank you, Brian. Thank you very much. But this is not the time for accolades or allocates, as my friend Lex Luger would say. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I need to... Uh, Please return to the rap battle and the subject at hand. Okay. Challenge me? You must be crazy, just like an old pet coon. I'll cut you with this microphone, you stuttering baboon. (laughs) I'm not a drunk like Tommy, and I just say no to drugs. I can rock a podcast to the early lights, so step off while I do my plugs. Chipotle mayo. (laughs) Chipotle mayo. Oh, no. Chipotle mayo. Chipotle mayo. Me undies. Me undies. Me undies. Me undies. Now wave your hands in the air. If you lent money to Ric Flair. Now somebody, somebody, everybody, say Carvel ice cream. <laughs> no, no, no more plugs. 
All right, then. Any other requests? Uh, do you have any other impressions, or or was that it? W was Did you end with your plug? I'm Terry Funk from Amarillo, and I talk like I'm in a fog. My brother Dory told me you're a dirty egg-sucking dog. I pity you. I really do, stuttering Tommy Rich, because some fat oaky announcer is about to make you his bitch. A loser must leave town match, Wildfire. Isn't that what you said? You'll soon be gone just like that jackass my daddy shot in its head. <laughs> my jackass, my jackass, my daddy shot my jackass, my jackass, my jackass. Why did you kill my jackass? I still haven't gotten past wave your hands in the air if you've lent money to Ric Flair. That's one of the greatest rhymes I've ever heard, but impressionist Jim Ross, spectacular. I'm so sorry. That Terry Funk is a... Uh... He's a real blue chipper. I want to thank him for uh, a t still a sensitive subject, that whole jackass thing. I hear, are there cars whizzing behind you, Impressionist Jim Ross? Yes, I'm right out here on uh, Highway 8 uh, by the site of my now-failed restaurant. <laughs> well, okay, boy, I never know where this is going, but it's always those, great. Those cars are whizzing right by the place, just like they did when we were open. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Impressionist Jim Ross. Um... All theories to society, I'd just like to sum up, if I may. <laughs> okay. Now, to all you 605ers, the rest is up to you. I need y'all to vote for me, and I know that you'll come through. I'm not the Iron Sheik, you know, but I'm going to make him humble. And then stuttering Tommy Rich will be sorry. s s s sorry s s s sorry He'll be sorry. He did the 605 rumble. <laughs> huh. Okay. <laughs> What was that? That was a mic drop, Brian. <laughs> <You try. laughs> okay, that's the first mic drop, I think, in podcast history. Certainly here on the Super Podcast, but Impressionist Jim Ross. It's like a mixture of being impressed with you and... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Um, Impressionist Jim Ross. Thank you. Whatever you were trying to... Uh, to uh... You sounded a bit like stuttering Brian last <laughs> well, I, don't... I think it's time to put that, that entire genre to bed. The, the entire stuttering genre. The stuttering genre, yes. In closing, voting is ongoing as we speak here today. What do you want to say to the 605ers who have yet to cast their vote? Thank you, fuck you, bye. So long, everybody. Voting is underway, and now here is Stuttering Tommy Rich. One last time before this big match, the gauntlet has been thrown down, and now the gauntlet will be answered. I guess that's how you'd put it. In this battle of wits, of, of <laughs> I don't even know what, between Impressionist Jim Ross and Stuttering Tommy Rich. You heard Impressionist Jim Ross minutes ago do a rap. Several weeks ago, he issued a rap battle challenge. I didn't actually think he would go ahead and rap, but stuttering Tommy Rich, what do you have to say to this? One last thing to say to the listeners of the show as voting is underway. They call me wildfire. They call me wildfire. <laughs> they call me wildfire. <laughs> what, what are you yeah. doing? <laughs> are you singing the song Wildfire? <laughs> That's my sample. That's it, your sample? You're supposed to be spinning and mixing it. <laughs> Don't you know rap? No, that's not how this works. This isn't a rap battle. Like, I'm not a DJ. I'm not actually That reminds rap. me of Mike Samples. Your, your sample reminds you of Mike Samples? Yeah, I work with Mike Samples in Memphis, and you don't even want sample. <laughs> okay, well, that's not exactly how it works here, Stuttering Tommy Rich, but I forgive you for not understanding uh, what actually goes on on this show in this studio as we put this thing together. Uh, I'm not a DJ, but as I said before, impression is Jim Ross did rap. Damn, I thought I thought you were my b-boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry to tell you I'm, uh, I'm not able to do that today on the air, but... Impressionist Jim Ross did have his rap today. What is your response to that rap? You know what, man? I can rap, too. I can do anything that guy can do. I'm going to do this freestyle just off the cuff. Really? Uh, you ready for it? <laughs> I don't know. But let's see what's going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be crazy time. Talk about fired up. <laughs> the Omni in Atlanta, baby. All right, give me a beat. I'm stuttering time to rich all up in this bitch. 
<laughs> Next time you come on and talk like the big cat, I'm going to take a dump in that ugly black hat. <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how it keeps <laughs> going under. Y'all never talk about me and Buzz Sawyer. I'm going to whoop you so bad, I'm going to need to get a lawyer. You were an impression of my old friend, the great Gordon Soli. Hell, if you were in Georgia with us, you'd get fired by Pig Faced Only. <laughs> Good reference there. Intense. It's real intense. I'm fired up. <laughs> <laughs> I got my own I got my own beat going since you ain't got a beat but anyway back to the rap okay. I'm gonna hit the says press in Atlanta GA so you can say oh my boy when you're looking at your x-ray <laughs> I got 99 problems but Jim Ross ain't one <laughs> okay you take another rap songs <laughs> you gonna leave town and press this Jim Ross Take that salmonella shit you call barbecue sauce. Whenever I hear that off of Stu Hart, reminds me of Nick Dinsmore when he had to play a retard. Jesus, there we go. Lola Bursado, I was underneath drunk, but you're a jackass when you try to do funk. <laughs> All of 605 was really pissed off when you came on and tried to talk like Ernie Roth. That's the Grand Wizard, for those you don't get the reference. Grand Wizard, baby. <laughs> Abdullah Farouk. I see you on the sidelines. You look like a jerk. You make everybody blind. Just ask Leroy McGurk. What? what does that even mean? Don't worry, I'm rapping. <laughs> Leave me alone. And this is my closing. I'm going to give a beat again. <laughs> <laughs> you know I could do that shit too. But anyway, this is my final. This is my this is my final man. You gonna edit this together, I guess, because I, I'm talking. But it's, fuck it, I don't care. Leave it be. This is freestyle. So, a precious Jim Ross, you want my retort? Six oh five Super Podcast owns the Ross Report. I said a hip. Damn, I need some whiskey. Uh, Sugar Hill Gang. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, I counted three rap songs that you stole lyrics from, quite obviously, in the middle of this. And... I told you in the beginning it was samples. Uh, samples, of course, of course. Well, uh, you know, rather... Didn't you know I used to ride with the Zambui Express? <laughs> no, I didn't realize the Zambui Express were in the rap, but... Uh... Yeah, man, they were pioneers. They told me I got exceptions from every rule, and wow. I heard that straight from the mouth of Ray Candy. Ray Candy, yes. <laughs> He gave me permission forever. On the uh, scale of wrestling rap, I would say you're above PN News. Maybe uh, maybe right in line with uh, the Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling or the Wrestle Rock Rumble. Somewhere in that range. Man, I got that. I got this bitch. You know, last week I was a little emotional, bro. You were? You said that the fans can go to hell. Yeah, you know, uh, they got me on some kind of freaky medication and I'm an alcoholic and all that. I told you I got my coin, right? Yes, you did. The 45-minute coin. It was four to seven. Uh, you, you, can't, you can't count the days, but you got to make the days count. That's what they say in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> and the first thing they said, they said, are you a friend of Bill W.? And I said, shit, yeah. I used to work for Watts once or twice. <laughs> but anyway, what? some alcoholics, alcoholics will get that reference, but I might not have worked Oklahoma. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Tyler Rich's a little messed up. I'm all over the place lately. I had to stay at that fool's house up in Pennsylvania. And, uh, you know, I'll take a Dayquil, NyQuil, whiskey, Budweiser. And I think I'm on 605 TBS, and it's the 80s, and I don't know, time just flies, you know what I mean? So... Stuttering Tom Riz, now I got a little drink in me. Obviously, I'm multi-talented. I could rap. I was NWA World's Champion. I cut Jerry Lawler's hair. I don't know who I like, but I know one guy I definitely don't like, and that's the impressionist Jim Ross. That's for sure. 
that's sober as a day is long. I got at least 20 minutes besides that little sip to clear my throat. So I'm sober. And, uh, you know, if I have to leave town, I have to leave town. Because, you know, I, I didn't know who I could trust. I thought I could trust Eddie Gilbert back in the day. Oh, we know how that ended up. Yeah, you know what I mean? So Tom and Rich always got one eye open. I sleep with one eye open, and I'm always looking behind my back. So Brian last 605ers, I don't know if I'm apologizing. I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah. maybe I was a little bit rough. That makes two of us have no idea what you're doing over there. Um, Me neither. Yeah. Well, look, in closing, stuttering Tommy Rich, as I said before, the voting is underway. This is the last opportunity you have to speak directly to the listeners of the Super Podcast, the 605ers, and explain why they should vote for you instead of Impressionist Jim Ross. What do you have to say? Impression Jim Ross. Impressionist. He come out here, and he won't be mad that he's behind Tommy Rich. We're from the South, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Georgia, you know. We've been everywhere, down south on the Mason-Dixon line. So we should stick together. But he's been a problem. He's been a thorn of Tommy Rich's side. So I just say, hey, man, if you pick me, it's going to be crazy time. And we're going to get fired up. <laughs>